What's up guys? I'm Nick Marino and I'm going to talk to you about the movie Green Book. Bah. It's insane how much hate this movie has gotten. Basically, there's a huge racial controversy uh, about this movie because they're saying that it completely whitewashes black history, that they got all the history incorrect, the, the relationship between Tony and Shirley is not even accurate. Shirley's family was really pissed off because a lot of the information they said about Shirley was just totally false. However, one of the writers who happens to be Tony's son, he got a lot of his information from Shirley himself. He had specific conversations private conversations with Shirley and Shirley specifically told him he wanted to leave a couple things out, a couple things in and out of integrity, Nick didn't tell um, Shirley's family because he wanted to, because Shirley told Nick to keep it all like on the down low. So there's two sides to the story. There's two different stories. At the end of the day, just watch the movie. It is one of the most misunderstood movies, and it's so ironic because it's about love, and it got so much fucking hate. Tony is not racist. He's an idiot. He's a fucking idiot who's just doing what everybody else tells him to do because he's an example of the white person, the white person who just does what society has conditioned them to do, which is so fucked up, but it's the world we live in. People are just racist because, oh, everybody's racist. He even says it in the fucking movie. He says shit like, everybody does it. Why are you getting mad at me? Like when Shirley's like scolding him, he's like, why are you getting mad at me? Everybody does it. If he was really racist, you wouldn't be able to educate him. But because he's an idiot, he doesn't know any better. So he, he by, by getting educated and informed, he learns, he learns to understand and open up. Also, the, the line where he's like, I'm blacker than you, people get really mad about that because they're like, oh, that's racist. I can't believe, I can't believe Tony's saying that. Well, yeah, duh, that's the point because that's how it is in the real world. There are people who literally think that they're more black, they're blacker than black people because they listen to rap music, because they, they grew up poor. No, shut the fuck up. You can never know how it feels like to be another race unless you're that fucking race. It's a positive thing that the movie's saying, but people are so focused on the fact that it's, it's a racist thing. Well, obviously it's a movie, it's a story, it's gonna be dark because it's trying to make a point. It's a realistic scenario because there's people like that in the world. Another thing people are mad about is how the movie, it's supposed to be about Shirley's life, yet Shirley is like the supporting character and most of the movie talk is about Tony. Okay, first of all, it's not a movie about Shirley. It's not a movie about Shirley. This is not a biography about Shirley. People are mad because, oh, the, if the title's called Green Book, why isn't the movie about Green Book? The title is just something you give to the project, but artistically it can mean a lot of things it doesn't have to be the movie like for example the godfather like that movie shouldn't be called the godfather then that movie should be called the mafia it should just be called the mafia because that makes more sense it's about the mafia it's not about the godfather the godfather's barely mentioned he's only mentioned like two or three times get like ah it's so frustrating <laughs> it's so fucking frustrating the movie's about overcoming differences in society and coming together and it shows us a relationship in the 1960s and ooh we get to also learn about the green book and ooh we get to learn about we get to learn about Don Shirley ooh i will admit they got a lot of facts incorrect and maybe their maybe their research wasn't that good and a lot of the history was sort of not as well researched as they, as it could have been However, that wasn't the point of the movie. The point wasn't about history. It wasn't to teach us history. It was about a relationship. It was about, it was about love. The movie's about fucking love. History was just a device and they kind of simplified the history. They kind of dumbed it down and made it really simplistic. And you, you don't only see that with the history. You see that in Tony's character. He's very animated. He's very simple-minded. Same thing with Shirley. 
He's eloquent and sophisticated, but it's very simple. The story is very simplistic. It's a simple story, and they did that on purpose so that we could focus more on the message. Shirley is just a metaphor. He just doesn't fit in with the world. And that could stand for a lot of things, because in the movie, Shirley doesn't fit in with his own people because he's successful. He doesn't fit in with white people either because he's black. And that's, that's, that, that's, a, that's a statement on so many fucking things, bro. Number one, biracial people. They're neither white nor black. They're in the middle, and they don't fit in with either of them. They, they get shit because they're in the middle. People who were born in the States but are from another country because, oh, because you're not born from the country. They, they don't fit in with their own fucking culture, with their own race. Shirley is a metaphor for all those people. And at the end of the day, we just have to come together in love and harmony. And that's the fucking point of the movie. That's the point. <laughs> the whole reason that Shirley's going on tour is because it takes courage to change people's hearts. It takes fucking courage to stand up in front of people and say, look, I'm fucking still here. And by doing that over and over and over again, you get to people. That speaks on so many fronts, on, on chasing your dreams, on staying true to yourself. That's a huge thing in this movie, is staying congruent with who the fuck you are, bro. When Shirley's all alone for Christmas and Tony has his family, you can have all the money in the world, you can be super rich and sophisticated, but family, love, that's what fucking matters. When, when, when Shirley and Tony come together for Christmas, it's about being in the moment, yo. It's about being in the moment, loving those around you, coming together, overcoming your differences in other people, understanding one another without caring what race or culture they're from. Just loving the person in front of you for who the fuck they are, bro. This movie is all about perspective. The racial controversy that this movie got is actually a beautiful blessing. It's a beautiful gift because it enhances this, this theme. Overcoming hate has all to do with perspective. There's always, always, always gonna be haters. Always. You can cure world hunger and someone will be mad. Hate will always be around, but in order, order to overcome hate, you have to shift your perspective. Just be, just fucking be because when you're just being, then all the other shit just dissipates. That's my two cents on it, but I hope that this breakdown kind of helped give you a new perspective on the movie. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm Nick Marino. Peace the fuck out.